Jim Harbaugh, the stories were going around that he was very interested in the Broncos job. And, and I, while we were speaking about it last week, I really believed that the Broncos were going to announce him as the head coach uh, before the weekend's end. I don't know what happened when he went to visit. Uh, obviously, maybe the fact that they don't have a first-round draft pick for the next two years, probably, or the next year, uh, is scaring them. Well, they do, but it's late. It's the Niners pick. So. Yeah, but it, it scares them. Uh, and Russell Wilson, maybe they don't. he doesn't believe in Russell Wilson. Who knows? This team lost uh, some valuable pieces at the trade deadline. Uh, maybe that's something that he was looking at uh, as as the open opportunity of taking a job like this. I, I just think that the only team that he was interested in coaching was probably the Broncos. And when he sat down with the new ownership, he just didn't like how it was run, how it's being run. So I, I think he decided to go back to Michigan. I do believe he will take a job in the next year or so. I, I do. I think he's going to wait another year. He's going to do. He's going to. He, he's going to go out there and and recruit and maybe he'll get some good players in the portal this off season. But all in all, if they don't win a national championship next year, they're never winning the national championship. So Yeah, there's two years left on Harbaugh's Michigan contract that he signed in 2019 after the 2018 year where they should have beaten Ohio State and everybody thought he was going to get fired. Maybe he's that. waiting for the Miami job to open. Maybe. It's, it's possible. And that's what I was kind of getting at with the Broncos, too. You, we, we saw this in the NBA with the Clippers when uh, after Donald Sterling uh, got, got forced out of uh, – had to sell the team and Steve Ballmer came in and bought the team. It took a while for them to get good head coaches because they just didn't have that reputation. Then they made a trade to get Doc Rivers. They had to trade two first-round picks. And, and, and then there's another team that might fire their coach next year. If Robert Sala doesn't get the Jets in the playoffs, you know damn well Woody, uh, Woody Johnson loves Jim Harbaugh. Oh, yeah. And he will absolutely go all in on Jim Harbaugh in the offseason next year if if they decide to fire Robert Sala. I hope they don't. I hope Robert Sala, Robert Sala and the Jets get it right this offseason. Find a, uh, a veteran quarterback to take over this team and move forward with a, a pretty good young team that that is definitely capable of making the playoffs next year in the AFC. Now, going back to the Broncos, they have to still kind of earn that reputation back because, yeah, they have Russell Wilson. Yeah, they still have a pretty good roster. Not great. but I think they're good. Yeah, but still, they have to kind of earn that trust back. They're in a hard in, division. In, in order for that to make it work because, again, like I said with the Clippers, they were a rising team, but they were still the they were still the second team of L.A. There were still other teams in the Western Conference that and were Kawhi better Leonard, them. they brought him in, and he couldn't stay healthy. And well, he's now, been out for yeah, two years. Five, five years later. But when they first bought the team, and when Bomber first bought the team in 2014, they had that— Lob City, Blake Griffin, CP3, DeAndre Please. Jordan team. And, but again, they kept choking in the playoffs. They had to get that reputation. And the same kind of thing with the Broncos, where you're looking at a case of they have the talent. It's just a matter of can they put it together? And they've had that for a while. For years, people thought, okay, they're a quarterback away. And all of a sudden, not the case. And now you're eight years gone by where they missed the playoffs. They can't just bank on a flashy bet in order to make a kind of thing work. And that's the same kind of thing with a lot of the other teams that were pursuing him. The Panthers were another team that was rumored to get him. The Raiders a couple of years ago were rumored to get him. But again, they could do, they could do it based on ownership value and money all they want, but they can't do it just solely based on lust of that kind of job. And same kind of thing what you were saying with Miami. You don't want these owners to get their egos too stuck up with no, the team. No, and I think Jim Harbaugh is a big name, and everybody is going to look at him as a guy that could be the savior of their organization. Jim Jim Harbaugh, when he was there with San Francisco, the four years that he was there, he was a winner. Even with the team falling apart, when Patrick Willis decided to retire and Bolin, a young linebacker, everybody thinks thought was going to be a star oh, yeah. in the league, decided he to retire fantastic. after a year because of the whole CTE thing. Uh, it absolutely hurt his defense and, and the way he ran his defense. So, uh, and then obviously Colin Kaepernick and and the craziness that was happening over there. Not. After the fact that he left, but there was stuff going in and out of the locker room that people weren't liking uh, with the Colin Kaepernick situation. So I, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen moving forward. But I do believe this is the last year for the Michigan Wolverines to make a run with Jim Harbaugh. I think he, there will be teams lining up for him in the offseason, especially if he goes to another chance to win a national championship, which he could, which they should be able to do because Ohio State's a lot of their players lot. and a lot of their players are coming back next year. A ton of their players, including their entire offensive line, is coming back next year. So, and Ohio State's losing a lot, so they should have the the best odds in the Big Ten, especially, but also as a powerhouse to be a top three team again to be able to do it. Question is, can they do well in the playoff? Or their defense which has been a very good defense for the last two years, has struggled in both games so far. So, again, if Harbaugh waits that out one more year because he's got two more years left in the contract, but, yeah, there's definitely always still a possibility just because he is the flashy hire of them going for that. 